All right, well, an update for you now on Alec Murdoch. He appeared in court today to find out how his evidentiary hearing will work. But two things were new for Murdoch. One, this courtroom was here in Richland County, and two, there was a new justice on the bench. This time, former Supreme Court Justice Jean Toll will be presiding over these hearings. But this is all to decide whether or not he will or he won't be granted a new murder trial. Today, Justice Toll set some very strict guidelines on the way things will go down after Murdoch's attorneys claim that the clerk of court in Collington County, Becky Hill, tampered with the jury after having improper contact with them. News 19, Sam Perez was in the courtroom and brings us the latest. I'm in front of the Richland County Judicial Center where I sat just hours ago in the gallery alongside local and national media outlets, members of the legal community and spectators, but none of Murdoch's family was there. The purpose of today was to lay the groundwork for the upcoming evidentiary hearing. This is a very focused inquiry that deals with this jury uh, and what impact uh, contact if any had on this jury. Justice Jean Toll presided in the matter where she made key decisions about how the evidentiary hearing will work. The initial position of uh, defense was that only certain jurors should be called. The state said no jurors should be called, but if you do, all should be called. Toll decided that all the jurors who went into deliberations will be called in open court in front of media and spectators to be questioned by her directly. I think it's very important to understand that no one, not myself or anyone else, is going to be asking the jurors about the specifics of their deliberation, and the rule is quite clear about that. Prosecuting attorney Creighton Waters said that he understood this case started with the jurors and their alleged interaction with clerk of court Becky Hill. Your Honor has indicated uh, the clerk should testify, and we certainly understand that. Uh, the clerk uh, filed an affidavit denying uh, any of these allegations. Toll says she'll be asking about what Hill said and if it affected jurors without going further. This is not the trial of Ms. Hill. Uh, and uh, issues about uh, motive and so forth and the possible commission of crimes uh, are not what this inquiry is about. It is about her contact, if any, with the juror and what she said. Murdoch's attorneys pushed for the alternate jurors to be included, but told disagreed that was necessary since they didn't weigh in on the verdict. Your Honor, you know, she issued, she's given an affidavit denying making any of these statements. She has. So these alternate jurors that have been dismissed, would you allow us to call, us, call them to impeach her if that's what she testifies to? At the present time, the answer to that is no, as I have indicated. In just under two weeks, we'll be right back here for the evidentiary hearing. Sam Perez, News 19, WLTX. Yeah, Justice Toll again deciding today only the jurors who actually deliberated will be called in the courtroom. They will be their identities will be kept uh, private and she will question each of them as to what happened. And then, of course, Becky Hill will be called as well. If you want to look up all of our coverage on uh, not only waiting for this new hearing to be on January 29th, but the previous coverage, go to WLTX.com.